Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to show you how to hang cordless magnetic Roman shades. The first thing I'm doing here is just removing this valance, which is just held up by this tension rod. So the brand of shades we're installing are made by Sheikology, and they come with brackets that look like this. And since we are doing an outside mount, we're going to mount these up here like this with two screws. Then it has a piece underneath that will rotate out under your head rail and can be tightened up with a screwdriver. Then once your brackets are mounted, the head rail will slide right on like this. If you want to do an inside mount, you would use these two screw holes in the top of the bracket and you would mount it inside your window frame like this. So the next thing we're going to do is fully extend the window shade and then hold it right where we want it with the bottom of the shade just above the bottom window sill and that's going to show us where we want the top of our shade to mount our brackets. So we held the shade in place to where we got the bottom edge just where we wanted it above the window sill and then we marked along the top of our bracket by tracing it and this will give us a ballpark idea of where we want to put our brackets. Then we're going to measure off the ceiling to make sure the two brackets are the exact same distance away from it. Then we, were, then we will hold it in place and mark where our screw holes go and make our pilot holes. To measure down from the ceiling to get your exact marks you can use a tape measure or a ruler. I preferred to use a ruler in this situation but it would not fit between the top of the window casing and the ceiling. So we're going to use a little homemade ruler that I made for leveling my lawnmower deck. So here we're measuring from the ceiling to get an exact spot and then we're marking where the top of the bracket will go. Then we hold our bracket in place and go ahead and mark where our pilot holes will go. You can also double check your marks with a level like this if you have a bumpy ceiling like we do. That can throw your measurements off a little bit. Now you do have a little bit of wiggle room with these types of shades because with this brand the shade is velcroed to the head rail. So if you get the head rail just slightly crooked you can adjust the top of the shade a little bit in how it's velcroed to the head rail to make it look level. Now these shades come with screws and anchors and these shades are not heavy enough that you need to find a stud. I do have a video about how to find a stud if you want to check that out but in this case you do not need to find one. So what I'm going to do is drill with a little 5 64th bit where I've marked each pilot hole and if I hit wood I will just use the screw to attach the bracket. If I do not hit wood I will use the anchor. So no wood there, we're going to use the anchors. No wood there, so we'll use anchors. Since we just went through plaster and didn't hit wood on any of our pilot holes, now I'm going to switch to a quarter inch bit and make some holes for our anchors. To put the screws in the anchors, it's best to use a screwdriver or a battery powered driver. So we unvelcroed the shade from the headrail and then attached the headrail to the brackets. There is a little piece 
on the bottom of each bracket that you will rotate under the headrail and then tighten the screw. Now we are going to reattach the shade to the headrail. And that's it, your shades are installed. So here I am demonstrating how these go up and down. You have to move the bottom fold up to the magnetic strip above it and keep moving up sequentially. Then you just go back down the same way, one fold at a time. And here's another demonstration just to show you what it looks like with the balance back in place. And here's another room where we installed some of these shades just in case you want to see what it looks like with more than one installed. The advantage of these shades is that they don't have cords so you don't have to worry about strangulation hazards with kids or kids yanking on them and breaking them. Again these shades are made by Sheikology and I'll put a link under the video if you're interested in checking them out. If this video helped you out please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.